So we've gone and got ourselves a UV light for our water filtration. There's nothing wrong with what we had. This has got no bearing on the fact that I could have shipped through the Arva Needle last week. Uh, it's just that there's so many things out there at the moment. Different viruses and bugs and monkey pox and polio and you know all these things. So um, I think at this point we are going to go for better treatment of our water, especially with children. We just don't know, all these things that keep popping up, either natural or man-made, uh, we keep getting more and more things it seems. It's one thing after another you keep hearing. So we're going to go for it. You know, if, it, if, if something does break out, all these things will sell out really quickly. So we're just going to get, get ahead of it now and, and um, get this uh, UV light installed. I did have a quick read of these instructions. They aren't brilliant. The bowl. Apparently, what I've read is, especially if you have to touch the quartz sleeve, you have to wear gloves because even your fingerprints can stop the light from working properly. So we've got three quarter inch female fittings for these three quarter inch male fittings and 32 mm um, pipe uh, connection on the other side, compression joints just to fit our 32 mm uh, water pipe. It should be quite a quick install. Once I understand it, how this actually runs, I think it will be fairly quick to, to fit. Right, so we'll just go in here and um, have a look at what we're going to do with this. Right. So you have uh, there's our water filtration system running along there. Put a piece of timber across here, and that's going to be uh, that is level, believe it or not, um, to uh, hold the um, UV light. So uh, my piece of wood is not quite wide enough for the bracket, so I'm going to have to put another piece of timber uh, along there, screw it into the top. This is what you could do with a block of board, the wall actually boarded out, rather than do it like this, I suppose, but um, quite a like seeing that wall. That's on there now, so now I've just got to plumb it in. So that means turning all the water off and the pump off. So uh, I'll start with doing that. First thing is turn this water off. Lever on the pressure tank. Turn the pressure off so it keeps the pressure in the tank. I've got to, then I'll release the pressure. Yeah, so I'm going to uh, just empty that into uh, this bowl. A little bit of water out of there. <laughs> Press these so we get some pressure out of those. Okay, so this part is like uh, where the power comes from. Just clips on. And we've got this is our earth. Our little earth cable's got to go on there. Earth's on. So I've got to try and put this uh, bulb in there. I think it's literally just a case of slide it in that sleeve. The sleeve is is waterproofed in there. It's only when you take this bit off that um, you're opening it up to water um, getting inside. So you take that off to, to get the um, quartz sleeve out. A bit more fiddly than I thought. I thought it'd be quite easy to change things like this. I think the bulbs are easy. I'm not sure about this quartz thing. Oh, 
very thin thing, isn't it? 55 watts it says on the bulb, so there's a bit of discrepancy in the um, usage thing in the manual. One side plugged on. So that's in. Uh, you've got to have your wire come out of one of these grooves that's it's in the side. There's little slots missing all the way around. And you have to put this cap back that I think you can see partially through. And it's kind of like a filter, so you know when the light's working. You can see a blue light coming through it when it's on. So that's almost like their yes, it's working device. So this is um, this Darrow or Darrow. I'm saying Darrow is a uh, British made um, thing, it's, uh, they're based here in England. It looks really well built, it's all stainless steel. It could definitely get cheaper ones, and I was looking like places like eBay, you know, do you want to be risking it? They're saying 15 years plus on this. There's a lot of other places weren't telling you how long you were going to get, and also you get a five year warranty with it. So that's on the end there, so it's just plumbing stuff now, I'm plugging it in. There's going to be a fair bit of jiggling around trying to get these pipes to line up here because these fittings are so big. I hate this PTFE tape but I bought so much of the blooming stuff I've got. I might as well use it. Very fiddly. It's not the neatest job in the world messing around with this blue pipe, it's not very bendable. Leaking. <sighs> Turn it off again and try again. Slow leak that one. For some reason that one. You know, I might have to change that entire fitting over because that's uh, a pig. Ugh! Here we go again. Try again.
Okay, so um, we've got things sorted in here. Uh, I haven't put a clip on that yet, but that's fine. I've clipped back there, roughly. It's either a case of having the pipe bend or putting loads more joints in it to get it to go uh, square, more, more um, 90 degree angles. And There's no on off button on this um, on this Daro unit. It's just a case of unplugging and switching, switching it off at the, the wall. Very exciting, just can't see that in this light. It's so bright outside, but yeah, it's on. They say not to open that and look at it because you can damage your eyes. They do say this size, this um, Eco 3 one um, I've got, they do say it can do a guest house. So it's mid to large home slash guest house, that's what I've read. It says it's a 50 watt, but the bulb says 55 watt, so it's around that. And somewhere else I read it's 36 litres a minute, and in the book it said 35 litres a minute. So it's somewhere around around that amount of water it's it can get through. It was about 530 odd quid I think, quite expensive, you know. So if you'd like to see some of our other videos on water filtration, check out this link here.